In this example, we want to graph f of x equals natural log of x. And there's a couple things to consider here. First off, remember that natural log of x is simply log base e of x. Okay, and e is about 2.7-ish. Okay, and the second thing to remember is how to graph any arbitrary log base b of x. Okay, and all log base b's look like this. Oops, let me just attempt to draw a straight line. Well, I guess that's as straight as it's going to get. Um, they, they go like this. They asymptotically approach the y-axis. So they come up like so. They don't hit the y-axis. And then they go through the point 1, 0. And then they take until b to get up to the point 1 on the y-axis. So it takes them to b on the x-axis. They have to go all the way over to b to get up to the point 1 on the y-axis. And then they keep going like that. So it's always going to be b1. Okay, this is true for any arbitrary log base b of x. So basically, if you know this graph, you can graph any log base b, log base 5, log base 10, which would be common log, or log base e, which would be natural log. So let's do this for natural log of x, which is really log base e of x, right? So it's going to asymptotically kind of run along this y-axis, and then it's going to break off and hit this point 1, 0 right here. Okay, and then it's going to take until the point E, which is 2.7. So right about here, it's going to get up to 1. All right, so it comes asymptotically like this, never hits the y-axis, gets infinitely close to it, though, and then starts to bend over and head out to positive infinity in the x and y direction. Just kind of goes off like this. All right, so here are the two points of interest. We already got one zero there. That's this one. And up here we have E comma one. All right, so there's the graph of natural log of x. Let's take a look at some reflections and translations of this graph. Okay, here's an example with all the reflections and translations that we could want here. We have negative natural log of x minus 2 plus 1. Okay, so let's remember what these things do. This negative here, that's going to reflect about the x-axis. Reflect about the x-axis, okay. And that will happen for any function where you just toss a negative in front of it. It's going to reflect it, reflect it, reflect it vertically about that x-axis. Um, this negative 2 inside the natural log that's inside, so that's going to be our horizontal shift. And remember, horizontal shifts go in the opposite direction of the sign. So this is a negative 2. That's going to bring us 2 to the right. Okay, and then the plus 1 outside of the parentheses, that's going to be our vertical shift. Vertical shifts go in the same direction as the sign. So this is going to go up by 1. Okay, so let's do it. So first, let's graph um, our natural log graph. I'm going to do it in green because it's not my final graph. So I'm just going to kind of uh, do a bunch of different graphs to get up to our final graph, which I'll do in black. So let's do this. We know what the graph of natural log of x looks like, but let's just start with that. Um, 2.7 to get up to 1, so about right about here. It comes up along the y-axis asymptotically and bends over like that. Okay, so there's natural log x, right? That's the one that you memorize. That's the parent graph that you, that you internalize or memorize so that you can then sh do all the shifts to it to get a new graph. Okay, our reflection about the x-axis, right? Imagine just flipping this along this x-axis. What's that going to do? Well, it's still going to go through this point, but now instead of going through this point here, which is e comma 1, it's going to go through e comma negative 1. Okay, and so it'll come along the y-axis like this now and go through like that. Okay, so now we have negative natural log x. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the original graph here. 
Okay. Now, let's do our shifting. So we got the reflection done with. Now we're going to take this shift. We have two known points. Here we are. So I'm going to take these points. I'm going to move them two to the right and one up. Two to the right and one up. Two to the right. So this is 2.7, 3.7, 4.7, and one up. There we go. And the last thing you do is you take this asymptote here. This is just the y-axis, but it's also an asymptote. And we're going to shift it two to the right and one up. So one, two, two to the right, and one up. Well, one up is hard to tell what that does with an asymptote, but two to the right really makes a difference. So here's this asymptote here. And that's really helpful. Remember to shift these asymptotes, because then we can use it as a guide when we go to graph these things. Okay, so we have our two points, we have our asymptote, that's all we need to graph something. So I'm going to come in along this asymptote, hit these two points, and then head out to infinity, like that. And there's our new graph for negative natural log x minus 2 plus 1.